The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Genesareth, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. They left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now it's time for Bible Quiz Trivia. Question number one. Who was the fisherman that Jesus was talking to in the boat? Was it A, Simon Peter, B, Peter Parker, C, Simon of Cyrene, or D, Simon Cowell? The correct answer is A, Simon Peter. Question number two. Who were the sons of Zebedee? Was it A, Jesse and James? B, James and John? C, Johnson and Johnson? Or D, Jack and Jill? The correct answer was B, James and John. Final question. Fill in the blanks. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching blank. Is it A, lots of fish, B, rabbits, C, people, or D, Pokemons? Catch them all. The correct answer was C, people. Great job listening to God's Word. Give yourself a pat on the back and shine your halo. And now it's time for our fun facts. Did you know immediate and eager obedience is an act of love to the person dear to us? The Bible promises us in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 2 through 3, Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Now it's time for a transfiguring discussion. How can we be a more, more obedient when given a task? We would love to hear from you. Please feel free to leave us a message in the chat box. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications about new episodes. If you have a YouTube mobile app, please turn on your notifications to let you know when new videos are released. Always remember that as we live the good news daily, 
then every day can be a Sunday. And don't worry about tomorrow, because God is already there. God loves you, and He has an eternal plan for you and your family.